I got a good little story about Leo, yeah. So, a couple weeks later, you know, I'm at the AT&T, just won my second tournament of the summer, and uh, you know, Leo had already sort of created a bit of a stir at the memorial. You know, I sort of I'd won the tournament and didn't get many congratulations texts. I got more, oh wow, Leo was adorable. I'm thinking, okay, cool, yeah, great, beautiful. You know, because me and Kate, I met them off the 18th green, gave Leo a kiss, gave Kate a kiss. I didn't really realize what had happened, but he was obviously clapping and doing all these cute things that the cameramen were, were sort of playing and playing and playing again. So anyway, Leo steals the show. Cool, you know, proud dad, don't mind. Two weeks later, win the AT&T. Once again, Leo's out there by the 18th green and the cameras are all in Leo. And you know, it's now time for me to make my speech and about to be announced as the champion. And the lady from AT&T says, well, you know, we're really proud to have Justin Rose as our champion this year. We've had time to meet him and his family this week, wada, wada, wada. And with no further ado, I'd like to introduce the 2010 winner of the AT&T, Leo's dad. <laughs> so, you know, in a year and a half, this little kid is, uh, you know, sort of stealing all my thunder, sh shall I say. But um, obviously it's all, all in good fun. And, but he's a little character, you know, he really... Uh, he engages people, he loves being around people, he always makes people smile and laugh, as all kids do, but you know, you're always uh, a biased, proud parent. 